Your latest news update from Western Mass News. Good evening, I'm Jordan Jagelinzer. Here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. The state releasing its latest COVID-19 numbers today. They say the current seven-day positivity rate sits at 11.72%. They report there were nearly 24,500 new cases as well as 78 deaths. The number of eligible residents fully vaccinated now sits at more than 73.5%. Developing tonight out of Springfield, crews are wrapping up at a house fire on Belmont Avenue. The property manager for the building was on scene and told Western Mass News the house was vacant as it was in the middle of renovations. The manager says it appears the fire started in a dumpster on the back porch. More service cuts coming to American Airlines. The carrier says it is cutting back on some of its in-flight meal and service beverages, beverage services that is. It comes after pressure from the flight attendants union to reduce potential COVID-19 exposure. That means no second beverage cart service on all long-haul domestic flights. Meal and beverage service on international flights will also be adjusted. The changes take effect on Wednesday. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown with a check of your forecast. We do have a first warning weather alert for the overnight hours as we deal with a quick moving clipper system that looks to bring anywhere from a coating to as much as two inches of snow by sunrise Tuesday morning. Slippery road conditions are possible. There's no advisories up for the area. Just budget a little extra time for your morning commute. We will go from cloudy skies in the morning to seeing some breaks of sunshine in the afternoon. Temperatures climb into the lower and middle 30s for the hills, upper 30s to even around 40 for the valley, with an increasing breeze shifting out of the northwest for the afternoon. That northwest breeze could occasionally gust up to about 20 miles an hour at times Tuesday night and Wednesday and high pressure building in from the west is going to usher in a much colder air mass. We'll have a lot of sunshine for Wednesday and Thursday, but it does stay well below normal for temperatures. Even some of those early morning temps could drop below zero Thursday morning. Now, Friday into Saturday, we'll be tracking our next round of wintry weather, which could come from a powerful coastal storm. Nothing definitive yet, but definitely something to watch. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.